What's up guys? Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming here and we've got the final LEGO DC Super Villains Free Roam! That's right, we're about to leave Earth and head out to Apocalypse and get a couple of trophy achievements. One called Helping Hand for completing all the quests. One called Fastest Man Alive for completing the final races as well. And uh, we're going to get a total of 17 gold bricks, 6 character tokens, and 3 vehicle tokens. So uh, this is another long one, ladies and gents, so make sure you're comfortable or familiar with those quick links down below now if you're unfamiliar on how to get to apocalypse we're gonna go ahead and remind you right here at the top of LexCorp tower we're gonna go ahead and see this giant red beam and uh, actually that's the way out of here so we're gonna go ahead and fly to the top use the icons indicated and voila we are officially in no man's land that's right, we're going to go ahead and target the old Johnny DC info point here so we can go ahead and ring off all the area collectibles. And as it turns out, this is going to be it. Now, we are one gold brick short as we didn't complete one of the challenges. Ah, well, right now we've got two challenges we need to complete, but we are going to complete one of them along our journey here. And look at that. That is a little bit of a nightmare, if I'm being honest. we got lots to do. First one up, though, is the Cryptic Calculator. Okay, so a couple of these were a little bit wonky. Now, I don't know if it was more of a user error or if it was perhaps something that was going on with the game. Uh, there was a time or two we had to fly away from the area and return back to it for things to load in, just like the last couple of areas. And here, this wants us to do some sort of math. I have to be honest, uh, I didn't really know what I was doing. I didn't really want to try and figure all this out. So I got a little squirrely and just started pushing things. And so you're going to see a couple of edits here. But as it turns out, the solution to the first one is bomb, 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 bomb. That's right. We go ahead and press the uh, upper left icon, which is the bomb icon. And it fills in and it solves the puzzle. But I'm pressing the wrong thing. Now, keep in mind, you got to use that ns, ns, ns techno panel as well. And we use Malcolm Merlin for that. Now, it was weird. It took a second for that bomb to register. But as you can see, we've now officially got a green light. Now, the next one is going to be the anchor. And uh, the final one is, again, bomb, 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 bomb. So at least that's what it worked out to be for us. I'm hoping that all platforms and all gameplay experiences will be the same because that was a little bit of a nightmare trying to figure that out, and I don't want you guys to try to do that all on your own. I don't want your brains to break. I know this old man right here was not trying to solve anything other than gold bricks. All right, next off, Into the Darkness, gold brick number two. Now, this one kind of threw me for a loop as well. No, it didn't, actually. We go upstairs, and there's not a whole lot to do here. We've got a uh, nice blue stud trail. Oh, I guess it's taking us out of here. And around the corner we go, whoops, watch that last step. It's a doozy. And look, I totally fall, fell off the edge, did not realize that there was ghost studs going to my right. So I get a little bit lost here, and I should have just kept on following the trail. There it is, to my left. Go behind you. Ah, we got to go up and around. There's another area up there, Brian. So yeah, this, like I said, this area was a little bit more difficult for me, and part of it was user error, I'm sure. Like right now, this is totally brain fart city, but we'll follow the old blue ghost studs. There we go, finally. Up the stairs we go, wrap around and across another walkway, up some more stairs. Wow, I don't know why Superman couldn't get up that stair there. That was a little bit wonky, but uh, turns out Buddy is up here around the corner oh wow i got a garbage truck outside hopefully that's not too loud on the old microphone now check this out we get to this top of this tower it's like a helmet but it's all dark inside so we're gonna go ahead and switch to scarecrow and use his illumination to reveal that gold brick all right next up what do we got what do we got crypto might need some help oh a little bit of wordplay I can dig it. I can dig it. Oh, no. Uh, I would highly recommend staying out of the old liquid hot magma. As you can see, it melted my socks off. And uh, luckily for me, there was a nice little ledge there for me to change character so I didn't keep falling. Because that would have been terrible, getting stuck in like a, a repeating, falling, melting situation. Uh, which probably could happen. All right, this guy is going to start on the rooftops. We've actually got a crack in one of the, I guess, sections of the roof here. And we can go ahead and uh, get our smash on after a quick cutscene there. Took me a second to get out of that. Once we get inside the room, though, what do we got? We've got, uh, ooh, some strong handles. So we'll go ahead and rip those off and reveal our buddy who's trapped inside this room here. It looks like it's Jimmy Olsen. 
Now we gotta wait another second or three for Jimmy to go ahead and remove this green laser grid. But uh, I got a little impatient, so I took off and got on out of here. And then, but it turns out I gotta stay here and then use somebody like the Mirror Master or a Speedster that can go ahead and shatter the old glass. So uh, I double back and go back down in there and look at that, he has removed those green grids. And we can go ahead and switch to our favorite shatterer. That's right. Go ahead and switch to Mirror Master and get your. Oh, ha! We are officially inside, and now we gotta beam him up. So apparently, our name isn't Mirror Master at all. It's Scotty, because we're gonna beam this guy on out of here. But check this out. We uh, we have a choice to make. Now, as it turns out, it shows we can, we can beam him to Earth. Or it looks like we can beam them. I don't know what that. It looks like the sign. I'm assuming that's supposed to be apocalypse. Like you can teleport people in and out, but it kind of doesn't make sense that we have the option to teleport to apocalypse when we're on apocalypse, right? And there is a lot of jargon going on in that computer there. I'm glad I don't have to decrypt that. But uh, all right, we're gonna go ahead and flip the Earth switch. I don't know what happens if you flip the other one. You might try it. I, I doubt it'll do anything too crazy. But anyways, go ahead and flip the switch and get that goo brick. Hey, shout out to Warner Brothers real quick for hooking us up with a copy of this game. This has been an absolute blast, and although we're nearing the end of our journey, we still have a few things left, so not to mention uh, a couple other videos as well. So, ooh, lasers and electrics. This guy's over by the stadium. We've seen that before. We're going to go ahead and jump on in. Well, I guess jump on out with Wonder Woman. We need somebody that can fly, and we are out of there. Let's see here. We got uh, about 80, oh, 20. And I don't know. I still haven't figured out what that measurement is there. Oh, and this one was fun. So we get here, and what's going on? There's, like, uh, nothing going on here. So we run around for a minute. We see a bunch of boingers, and we're looking for... Oh, there it is. There's an electric pad. Okay, so we found that guy. It's kind of in the back left corner, as it would appear. We're going to need somebody like Livewire to go ahead and charge it up. So that's right. It's officially green-lighted, and the power is among us. Oh, what is that? That doesn't look good. All right, so we got a little ricochet going on here. We're going to go ahead and have to reorganize that. And I think all we need to do is get out on that. Uh, we've got a yep a targeting pad here. We'll go ahead and use Deadshot. We saw a bunch of boingers earlier, so go ahead and hit the icon indicated. For us, it was Swakel. And then aim just slightly up and get your pew pew on. And look at that. Oh, well... Nice. I don't know how that looks a little dangerous, but hey, it looks like that's what we wanted. We want oh, melted it into a goo brick. We'll take it. Go ahead and jump on there. Try not to die. As you can see, it does do a little damage to you if you get in that laser beam. Next up, I do believe this one is one of those wonky ones where, yep, right on top of us has another gold brick. It's called Fire and Fury. Now, this is actually spawning because we completed the last one. Laser electrics. Now, watch this. I actually flew out of the area and returned. I, I didn't want to waste your time. I literally had to leave all the way over to uh, the bottom of the map and then flew back. And then all of a sudden, it was here. So if, if it's not appearing, if you don't see that gold or brick inside the box there, or you don't see the, the, the giant gun you can hop on that I'm on right now, definitely fly away and return, and it should be there for you. Now, if, if it doesn't, you might try going all the way back to Earth or even into Darkseid's throne, as that should load something different and reload the main assets. Here you just got to get, what, uh, 25 in less than a minute, I think it is? And I had no problem getting that. I had quite a few. I think I ended up for 55 is my final number. But uh, just simply uh, target every bad guy in sight. And if you get ahead of the pack, you can always target the guys in the very back. And look at that. Yep, 44, 45. Definitely got that gold. But, uh, you know, and you could always just relax now. Chillax until the timer stops. But not me. I'm trying to set world records here. And look at Superman. He's, like, floating. That's a little bit awesome. But uh, we'll go ahead and drop down. Oh, I guess we're Wonder Woman. Look at that game guru. We've got another one of those check marks. So it looks like we've got a couple more left. But we will find them right in this area. I promise. Heated Hallway is going to be our next objective. And again, there's no real method to our madness other than I just kind of grab the bricks that are closest to me. And generally, I try to go in like a clockwise or counterclockwise fashion to try and make some sense out of it. But really, you know, other than the ones that uh, you have to complete to open up other ones, there's really no specific order. Now, this one is kind of tricky. I was all the way on the roof, but it told me to go down. So I dropped down and it's telling me to go back up. Well, there is kind of a halfway point here. 
I was all the way on the tippy toppy there, but we want to get inside that room right there as there is a gold brick kind of hiding in a caged off area, which I do believe we get a little cinematic view of in a second. So here in this area, we're going to go ahead and use somebody like Livewire. Whoops. Whoops. Nope, nope. Got a little musical characters going on there. Okay, back in action. Livewire is officially out and got her pumpage going. We got uh, full <laughs> full meter there and we are a rocket. So it charged up the panel on the other side and reveals a vent. Now we've got to find the items to complete the old toxin here. So we've got Scarecrow's mixture of sweetness, which we know we need, like, what, a pumpkin, a, a head, like a skeleton head, and what's the last one? Oh, a spider. Spider. So we're going to go ahead and make our way up and around here. I do believe we find the first one on the back side. we got to turn around. Yep, it's right over there. It should be on. So basically go up above the mixing tank, and it should be right there. We've got the spider. I'm not a fan of spiders. I probably should have grabbed that guy last. Ooh, the old pumpkins down in the long hallway, which is just up above the mixing tank. And last but not least, I do believe we have to get our smash on. See, and that's what's weird. Look, I smashed that, and it revealed two of the skeleton heads. However, they weren't the ones that I... And right, there's more. See, it's totally fooling me. I'm going to go down and slam dunk these two and try to find the last one, which don't worry, we find it. I promise. All right, it, it is up and around the back side, though. We got to go up and uh, wait, what's that? There's some twirly poles. Ooh. We're going to go ahead and jump up and get our twirl on. I did not know that Scarecrow was as nimble as he is. Look at that. Ooh, we've got a couple of, what are those, parademons? Isn't that what we call those guys? We'll go ahead and make our way in there and give him the old cha 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 cha. Ooh, and there's that gold brick I was talking about. And I knocked his block off, but it, it, he doesn't do anything. He just stands there. But apparently he had this in his pocket. I'm not sure what he had, what he was rocking a little, little head, a little noggin for. But anyhow, we got the final ingredient, and we've got the super mix now. So we'll make our way over to the vent and pump it in there. That's right. Ooh, get your stank on. He doesn't like that. I wouldn't either. I would have bounced a lot sooner, if I'm being honest. As soon as I realized they were making the mix, I would have been out of there. But uh, we go up and around, and unfortunately, I go the wrong side. So there was a, yeah, a couple of rods preventing us from getting through, and I thought they all lifted, and it was just nice a nice long hallway now, but no such luck. So, uh, yeah, I remove myself and head to the other side, and ta -ta -ta -ta, we've got that bad boy. We've got 187 of the 200, so we're getting close. Ooh, hashtag photo brag. Gotta love these ones where you go around and take all them selfies. In our case, we're gonna go ahead and select Superman as he can fly and get around town quickly. And we just gotta make our way down to where it starts. This one's actually kind of fun. It's all inside this building for the most part. And then we gotta go recruit a couple of those parademons to get involved in the picture too. Uh, let's see here, where, where are you at, buddy? Uh, this is kind of a funny one too. Like, he's not here, right? Like, where is he? Now watch this though. As I walk back in there, I do believe he spawns. So I go all the way around. Nope, psych. Can't go around that way. We go up over the top. Oh, invisible wall or ceiling. Oh, a bluesy. Got to grab that. Got to get them all. Got to get them all. All right, so stay out of the lava. So all of a sudden, I am, like, lost. But I'm right above where I need to be. And you can see it's showing me I'm only six, whatever it is, away. Meters, feet, bricks, talls, whatever. I don't know. We go back down inside, and he's still not there. But watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Um, nope, he's not here, still not here, flip around. So again, I, I'm not sure why, I didn't have this issue at all with the first couple of free roams, it was only the last few. So I, I'm gonna go ahead and actually, I left this one in just to show you guys. So I flew out, I'm gonna fly right back in and watch this. Is he there? Is he there? Cross your fingers. Is he there? Now it's actually telling me he's right over there. Oh, look at that! See, why wasn't this stuff here? It's so weird that it does that. Now I get it. The last one I did was right up above me, and it did unlock this one. So I can kind of understand a reset being needed. Like when your computer has to, you know, update with an, you know, has to install an update. Let's see if I can say this right. You know, generally you have to restart your system before all settings will take place, right? So it's kind of the same type of thing, I guess. But it's a video game. I don't want to have to restart every time or leave the area every time. You know, that's kind of wonky. Hopefully they'll fix that for you guys. Or maybe they already have by the time you guys are watching this. Who knows? All right, speed force your way to the end here. That's right. And we'll go ahead and collect 10 items, which will give us our... 
And what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Um, oh. It's a uh, 21st century. Is it, is it like a fax machine? I forget what that is. She's wanting to do something. Maybe it's Wi-Fi. Uh, we're just going to call it a router. Haha. -ha. And, oh, she's trying to get her lyco meter up. That's right. So, basically, she is super worried about her, you know, popularity stance with all her friends. And we're going to help her out with that. So, uh, next up, we got a green screen with some lava. She actually drops a few bricks for us. We'll go ahead and put those together rather quickly as we have a speedster out. And now we're going to need somebody that can go, oh, so small. Somebody like Livewire, who's also invincible to the electricity that may or may not flow. And look at that. There's a lot of shock going on in here. So we're going to go ahead and jump up and around after flipping it once to the right and then once back to the left. And look at that. We are out of here. That was a pretty easy one. Hopefully that wasn't just as easy for you. I don't, I, you know, I've never really paid attention to if those are all consistent too. Like I, I've never heard you guys say that they're different, but I, I don't really know if you're getting the same type of puzzle or not. All right, so after completing that miniature hack there, we should have a nice background rather than a green screen. We can go ahead and get that selfie took. All right, so next up, what do we got? What do we got? She's talking too much. We want that gold brick inside the chest. Come on, I'm getting anxious here, as you can see. Basically, we've got to follow her one more time and take another photo. Oh, wait, we got some more stuff to build. I forgot. Uh, but yeah, we do have to take another photo. Oh, is she going to get her workout on now? Shoot, must be gym day. All right, uh, only leg day, too. Oh, I see some barbells over there. I was going to say, come on, you're not going to work the full body? All right. Oh, what the heck? It spun me. I, I have kind of learned a trick with the selfies. If you're looking away from the person you're trying to take a picture of, usually the selfie cam will pop right up and it'll be good. For some reason, every once in a while, that doesn't work for me either. So I don't know if that's a user error type of thing or if it is maybe, uh, you know, another one of those wonky uh, things that got missed or a bug, if you will. All right. Next up, remember I told you there was those parademons we needed to recruit at some point? Well, we're going to have to go find them. So I switched to Joker, who can go ahead and do a little persuasion to these guys and get them to follow oh there they are i was gonna say where are they so they're out on the back ledge kind of hiding go ahead and walk up to them and oh uh apparently i couldn't oh i got mind control i'm not recruiting i'm yeah so the persuasion wasn't enough joker was uh you know not going to do it. So we had to switch to the Riddler. My bad on that. We'll go ahead and get both of them in there. However, Buddy takes off. So one of them stays, and the other one takes off to the other side. And we're going to need to give him a little manipulation speech as well to get him inside. Except for, of course, I go the long way around, and he is not there. So uh, apparently it's straight across. There he is. We'll go ahead and get up close and personal, hit that icon, and reroute him back inside. That's right. Stand right there, buddy. We'll go ahead and get back inside there. Now, who you pick shouldn't matter. You just got to hit that L1 button. I, I guess I should have brought that up earlier. We've taken a lot of selfies, so I don't think you guys really need a reminder. It should pop up by hitting the L1 or maybe the left bumper, I'm assuming, if you're on the Xbox One. But uh, go ahead and hit the square button once you get it pulled up or the X button, depending on which platform you're on, and take that photo. She gets all excited because that meter is completer. And look at that. We'll go ahead and collect our gold brick. Thank you very much. All right, so we are almost to the halfway point of gold bricks, which is nice. We still got a lot of them out there. Next up is Matrimony and Magma. So we'll go ahead and target this guy. And, of course, we're going to choose a flying character to get there as we just find it so much quicker and easier to do that. Now, oh, what's this? This one is down and around the back. Oh, it's down right by the beach, man. You can see the glow coming from way down below. And, of course... There's a couple of boxes here, and I take them out, and there's nothing. Now, I had to fly away and return. You want a chest, kind of like the one that she just opened up above for us and gave us that gold brick. So, again, I flew all the way over to the uh, the stadium and then flew back, and everything was here. So you might have to do that as well. Now, this was a terrible experience for me. I found myself in the lava more often than not. But what you got to do is drop down and switch to a character with telekinesis to start things off on the left side. That should give Buddy a little bit of motivation to come and follow you. I, I think what it does is it moves a rock and gives him access to jump all the way across. Next up, we're going to need to recruit him. And we're going to need to recruit two other guys. Or three other guys, excuse me. As you can see up top, we got that four photos that need to be completed. And I try to take a shortcut here, and that does not work. So you got to go all the way around the long way. Each time you get to a floating rock that has a goon on it, make sure you recruit him. 
As you can see, I found myself in the lava more often than not, and, and I did edit out a lot of the downtime, so it looks better than it really was. I did kind of find a rhythm at the end, and uh, you, luckily you don't have to jump all the way out onto the actual rock to recruit these guys. Generally, it's just the one right next to it should be close enough. Ah, oh, look at me. I'm trying to tell you a trick, and then all of a sudden it doesn't work for me, so... Whip, 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 whip. Uh, we'll get them all and make it back. Now we've got all four of our goons. We can go ahead and step on the pad and press the icon that's indicated, and they should turn themselves into a human trampoline. We'll go ahead and fling us up there. And what do we got up here? We got something going on. Actually, what we want is there was a fifth person down there on them rocks. You can see he finally made it over. Maybe she. Gorilla Grodd, that bod is way too big, man. I can't see what's going down. Although I do see that gold. So we'll go ahead and sneak in there and swoop that up. Oh, I should have just toggled up to Gorilla Grodd and moved him out of the way. And out of the night there. It looks like it's a, I can't tell if it's a, a young lady or a young man. But either way, we've got that gold brick and we are on our way. Next up is all the way over. Hot, hot, hot tub. Woo. That's going to be fun, I'm sure. I think this is all a giant hot tub, is it not? Now, keep in mind, too, that we did all of the gold bricks first. Then we jump into the character quests and do all of the races. But at the by the end, it actually unlocks a final boss battle, and we save that for the end. So we do get our final character token at the very end. Now, this one was kind of squooey too -y. I made a huge mistake here. So you got to get up on the top of this guy and spin it around until it stops. That's going to show you that there is one of those parademons in there. And he's hanging out. He's got a silver inner tube. And what we got to do is knock him off it. So we are going to need the help of one of our drones. Now, unfortunately, I was a maroon and I ran to the wrong thing. So it turns out there are four of these drone spots. This is not the one to start with. The best piece of info I can give you is to go on top of where that force field is. Look down to where the hatch or where the uh, ledge is and follow that ledge to the hatch. As you can see, it actually led me right to it. Now you just got to deploy one of your chompers, which uh, I got to have a little bit better aim than that. And this was kind of a, a complaint I had as well. In order to get into that drone hatch, you have to steer it up to the left. As soon as you get in the drone hatch, you're actually steering down to the left. It's kind of kind of confusing, and that's why I drove my teeth right into the lava. But all right, so now once we take that guy out, we have to spin this around and make it match up to the next guy floating in there. So which way you spin it, I don't think it really matters because there are a couple of guys. But you're going to want to stand on top and look to see where that drone hatch is and make your way over to it. As you can see, I, that was pretty easy for me. I just walked right over the top after flipping it, and in we go. Chomp, 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 chomp. All right, all the way down the hatch. Now, I do recommend as soon as you get through the hatch, stop pressing a button. Stop, you know, using the analog stick or whatever because you will probably end up in that lava. And it was frustrating for me, and I can only imagine it would be the same for you. All right, so I spun this guy around. I'm going to walk over to the drone hatch yet again and drop him in there. Chomp, 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 chomp. And again, I'm going to let the chomper go in and not control it. Oh, but look at that. See, I was. I was controlling. I was pressing to the left. So we get a little cutscene here. It's really short, and all we gotta do is drive all the way to the end. And oh, look at that! He's gonna leave the goal. He doesn't want to get knocked off. He's smarter than the rest of the guys. But guess what? We ain't that nice. We're gonna go ahead and collect that goal break and take him out anyways. So, and I don't know why it said three of three. I, I, you might have to take it out. Maybe that was a weird glitch. Maybe you're supposed to knock him off, and then you see. I don't know. But regardless, we took him down. So, uh, how I met your parademon mother? That's kind of funny, isn't it? Kind of a wordplay on a TV show. This one was a little confusing on getting into as well. It's look, it's I like got a giant dark side head that's just puking out lava. Blech. Inside that head, though, we actually find this laser grid with a couple of parademons blocking it and the need of the detective ability. But we also need a grappler, too. So, unfortunately, it's not one of those ones where you use the detective ability and it just stays re revealed. You actually have to do it. So now, I thought grid was capable of doing this, and it's actually telling me to hit circle, but then it stops. So, I end up just switching to Batman because Batman is going to be a for sure... Now, I, I bought Grid a couple of free roams ago because we had to do something. In, and I thought it was Detective and Grapple, but that's not it. That, Batman has that. I wouldn't have had to buy him for that. So it was actually Detective and um, 
Electricity, maybe? Uh, I don't remember. But look at that. We go ahead and use Batman to reveal a great... We could go ahead and switch to Clayface and slip on through to the other side. Look at that. We got some more parademons in here. And we've got some silver chains and some spin wheels. We'll go ahead and switch to somebody with some silver brick breaking ability. And I get caught up in that spam button again. Ah, oh, my goodness. I need to get better at that. Luckily for you, this is pretty much the end of our journey here. <laughs> All right, so this one, I, to be honest with you, I wasn't exactly sure what to do, but somehow Reese knew the solution. I probably should have asked him. Uh, he told me to flip the red one once, check. Flip the yellow one once, check. Psych, we gotta flip it again, flip it twice, check. And, oh, three times. Oh, rule of three. So one on the red, three on the yellow, and then use somebody like Superman who is invincible to that green goo and get in there and flip it not one, but two. And, oh, three. I guess you have to flip that one three times too. Huh. All right. One, three, three is the rule here. And, oh, it's a symboling, a parademon who, uh, look at that. He tossed out that goo brick. We'll take it. Thank you very much. Ooh, the home stretch, the home stretch. All right, what's next? What's next? We got one right around the corner here. This one's called Superman Sluggers. We'll go ahead and make our way on the map to that guy right quick. Now, tell me, when you guys are playing along with us, are you using the quick links more often, or are you actually starting the area and playing through and getting the same quests as us? I'm curious. I, I, I genuinely would love to know that, because that'll help me kind of determine how I do things in the future. Now, this one, the Superman Slugger, is... There's actually a Bizarro statue that pops up out of the ground right there. There's like that little uh, spot. Yep, there it is. So we got to get up close and personal to it. And this is probably one of the easiest gold bricks we had to do. There is a timer, 14 or 15 seconds you get. You got to get 1,500 points. Now, I was Superman, and maybe he does more damage or shoot, punches a little faster. I don't know. But I had no problem hitting that 1,500 mark. In fact, 2,200. It gives us a bunch of studs. He gives us a little cutscene. We see the old pinata meltdown in the lava. And then it spawns another one. And I think I'm going to have to go at it again. So I get up close to person. It starts another timer. The gold brick shows up. But watch this. He tosses the gold brick for me because I've already completed it. And speaking of completing, it gives me one more check on that game guru challenge that is scattered throughout all of Free Roam. Next up, it didn't come from Krypton. We'll find out if it did or didn't. We have uh, old Superman out, and in theory, Krypton is the home of Kryptonite, as well as Superman, as well. Yeah. Oh, and this one. Okay, so this one I totally messed up, and luckily for me, Reese was here. Now, I, I think it was, was it Lego? There was another recent Lego game that uh, we had one of these puzzles on. It was almost identical. I, I, I feel like, I, I know I said recent, but I feel like it might have even been Lego Dimensions, which is not so recent, but... I had a heck of a time trying to solve this. What you got to do, though, is you start off over at the x-ray puzzle. Go ahead and connect the dots. La, la, la. Once they're all connected, it should fire up that laser beam uh, lever. So you're going to need to flip the lever in a minute, but not quite yet. We've got to get a couple of these guys into position. So each time the laser fires, it will bounce off some of the blue cubes. Like you can see right now, there's that blue cube. And every one of these little pedestal things that we're moving has a blue cube on it that will refract or reflect the light. And... Um, in our case, we want to move these in such a way that we can go ahead and shoot all four of those green and red power nodes. And I totally messed this up. So uh, try and follow along with the patterns that I have on screen. That's the best I can do because I, I get them all out of order. I do them wrong, and I get caught up in the old spamming of the button so many times, throwing my explodey pies. So here we go. Here's the first one. Uh, you're going to have both of the left and right ones on the left. And then the left up and down on the bottom and the right one on the top. I know I'm saying that probably confusing, but I don't really know what the best way to say it is. So now that you've got that one, go ahead and pull the far left one up. There we go. Come on. And then we're going to pull the middle one. Nope. Psych. Where are we going? We're going. With, yep. Middle one. Come on. Quit throwing the pies. See, look how bad I am at that. Like I told you, like I'm just trying to connect my grappler to the grapple plug and it just won't do it. And Reese was laughing at me. He's like, come on, Dad, what's the matter? You want me to do it? All right, so the left one and the middle one, both move those guys and go ahead and pull that lever again. Pew! Should go ahead and take down the second one. Thank you very much. All right, two down, two to go. 
Next, we're going to go up to the top. Nope. Psych. Yep. Yep. We're taking the top one. We're going to go ahead and pull that guy over to the right. All right. And then we're going to pull the left one down to the bottom again. And now we'll flip the lever, and that should go ahead and reflect it down and take out that guy. Woohoo! All right, so three down, one to go. This is a rather long one. Quick reminder, we do have quick links down below in the video description if you've already figured this out, or maybe you're just tired of listening to me woo to the who. But uh, all right, far right and far bottom both get moved in this last one. Oh, looks like we're going to pull the left one too. So move all but the top and then flip that lever one last time. All right. Ooh, question mark for the for the win. We'll go ahead and open the chest. We'll take our Oh, what the crap? That's not what I, we were expecting a gold brick. He is not gold. No, oh, wow. I I'm a little reluctant to collect that. I'm I'm a little hesitant. Where did that come from? Like, it was not there one second, and all of a sudden, boom, it was there. So, anyways, uh, we'll go ahead and target the next one. Father Box Fussing? Interesting. I'm not sure what this is all about, but let's go check it out. i got to fly a little higher so I don't crash into the buildings here. Oh, it's a cube. Uh, I don't know if this is probably not a reference to the Fortnite cube, but it kind of reminded me of it, although it's not purple and it's not... Uh, <laughs> This is uh, slipping into Loot Lake, but uh, that being said, it did kind of remind me of the cube. There are some silver, uh, I guess, bindings, some, some sort of locks on it. Go ahead and take those off with your favorite silver brick breaker. Build those pits into a techno panel. Then pull out somebody like Malcolm Merlin to go ahead and access the panel. Now, I put a little more thought into this than I needed to. What you need to do is flip the uh, positive and minus, and then go ahead and press the bottom button down. What you got to do is you got to complete it by not matching it. So you want the opposites. You want when it's negative, you got to put positive. When it's positive, you got to put negative, and so on and so forth. And each time you just make your way, flip it all the way down. It should connect the dots. Oh, we got another uh, electric panel. We'll go ahead and fill this guy up. Switch to somebody like Livewire, and that's right. And that should be it, I think. Alrighty then, it's gonna go ahead and I don't know what it's doing, it's scaring me, it's getting a little too lit. One of my least favorite words of this era, lit, just saying. I had to tell Reese all the time, like, that is not lit. But anyways, <laughs> we'll go ahead and fly up there and collect that brick. Ooh, bust, bust. This one is just right around the corner from us, and it's a little bit of a lengthy one too. So. If you're in a hurry, keep in mind we do have them quick links down below. All right, so start things off. We're going to go talk to this guy over here. He wants us to do some sort of replica of granny goodness on the billboard. And we're going to go across from him and smash and build the bricks into a lantern pad. This is going to be the first of, I believe, three steps that we have to make on this one. It's a little hammer and a chisel, and we take that rock and turn it into a work of art. Well, almost. It scans it, and it's like, well, it sort of looks like her, but not quite. So we got to go and melt that gold in the middle there. As you can see here, we're, we're trying to get 100% match. Right now we're at like 24%, I think it says. So get in there and get that gold done melted. And it doesn't really matter. You don't have to carve it out. Just hit it with the hot ray and let it go bye-bye. See here, eyes gone all right so we get another scan oh she's puking that's not good for some reason the lava really brings it together he says that is uh, unusual personally i wouldn't want my like photo or monument vomiting lava but that's just me i suppose all right next up we'll see here we got somebody we need with uh plantanesis i guess it's just uh poison ivy will do just fine go ahead and switch to her and just to the right of the monument that we're building we'll go ahead and make the plant grow and give her a little bit of hair looks like there's also one on the left side so manipulate both them plants let that scanner come in and scan again and what do we got what do we got is it gold brick time yet mm, not quite so we were at 40 after the nice addition of hair He's going to go ahead and knock. Oh, 52. I, I thought it said 40. Eh, Anyways, we go ahead. Oh, thank you very much. Looks You're like we got time. it close enough. Make sure you collect that gold brick before taking off to the next one. And speaking of next one, what do we got? Oh, five gold bricks left to complete it. Now, keep in mind, too, uh, you know, we do have that one challenge. So right now we still have the guru game guru challenge. 
And we also have the uh, the final challenge is the briefcase character token finder, which we accidentally found one in the last video. But we'll we'll go ahead and get them all. That's basically our next task. So be expecting that. We got a couple of trophy achievements we're gonna knock out too. But that's uh, that's about it. We also have our live stream that we plan on doing. We haven't officially set the date for it yet, but we're thinking it's gonna be on Monday. Uh, the time is still up in the air as well. It just kind of all depends on a few random factors. Now, this one that we're working on is pretty simple. There's actually a gold brick in a room with a couple of rods preventing our entry. We're going to go to the other side of that building and find that there is another room just like it with a lever in it. We'll flip that. Make sure you got a speedster, though. That is important as we got to run all the way around and get inside that room before the timer stops ticking. I guess we got five seconds to get all the way around, which we had plenty of time with old Flash. So... Definitely recommend pulling him out, or I guess the reverse flash would get her done too, but that should be it though. We'll go ahead and target our next. We, it looks like we only got two more gold bricks, guys. That's crazy. Horticulture Horrors. Now this one is probably gonna require our good buddy Poison Ivy, as it is called Horticulture. I will have to wait and see though. Fly up to the top of the old giant. Oh, look at this. Yep, we've got, uh, oh, it's a giant, it looks like a Venus flytrap. Maybe this isn't Venus, so a apocalypse flytrap, perhaps? Ooh, <laughs> that was kind of fun. An apocalypse flytrap, perhaps. I don't know, maybe I'm making more of it than I should. But anyways, okay, so we got these three flowers, I believe it is, down here along the edge. They all have some silver stuffs on them. We need to take out Joker and throw some explody pies at them. And what they do is it reveals a, a little boinger. So we're going to go ahead and look for a targeting pad as well as one more of those uh, flowers with silver on them. The third one appears to not have anything on it, but that's not the one. You can see it off on the far left side of my screen there. It's all the way down and around the corner. We'll go ahead and turf that last one. Boop, 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 boop. All right, so now we got to go inside this room and light things up a little bit. So somebody like Scarecrow should get it done. Look at the portal lighting up the room. That was kind of fun. And inside, we've got a bunch more flowers and a need to destroy some more silver bricks. We'll pull out Joker one more time and take this guy down. And it should give us, yep, some bricks to build into a targeting pad. So get your on and complete that. We're going to hop on it. And, of course, Deadshot is the default. So we're going to pull him out and... Get our aim on by pressing the icon indicated, and that's right. Pew, 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 pew. Well, Look at that. It drops the gold brick. Whoa, it went down below, but then it magically popped up top. That was pretty fun. At least we uh, don't have to go trudging through the lava to get it. All right, switch to somebody who can fly and make your way over and get that gold brick before making your way inside to the final gold brick. Look at that, we've only got one left. How, how cool is that? Now, keep in mind, too, this is Stefan Wolf's Dirty Laundry. Um, I feel like, oh, that's right, this is the final game for the Game Guru Puzzle 2. So that worked out. I did not mean to do it that way, but the final gold brick actually earns us an extra gold brick. That's kind of fun, huh? All right, so start by charging up the electric panel up top here. Now, this one is uh, all about timing and requires a little bit of luck. You might have noticed I totally edited that. That's because I messed up. I wasn't aware that I had three lives. And uh, what you got to do is you got to stand on this red button right when that white light makes it to the same line as the green dot. So uh, it's all about timing. So, you know, and they kind of go fast and slow. It, it's, it's a little bit wonky, and that's why I messed up and had to do it again. Hopefully, you guys can do this in a single attempt. As you can see, once I got a rhythm going, I did pretty good. I think I missed one. I think I missed the next one. But I, I, I only missed one on my second attempt. So, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. One last one is all I need. Oh, no. All right, so here we go. I think I failed this one. Yeah, I was a little too slow. But that's all right, though. It comes back around, and we get another one. All right, so on top, right, here we go. Oh, oh. See, look at look. It's like not consistent it's not a steady jump so uh, hopefully you'll get that quick and easy as you can tell it uh, was a little bit harder than I wanted it to be but game guru is officially ours so we got that gold brick for that notice we got the two gold bricks so 197 and or 198 and 199 and that last one that we need is actually for a challenge so we'll talk about that in a minute after we get the rest of this done too because like I said that's gonna be one of the last things we do is that challenge um, all right, uh, we got to go. Look, it's Lobo. This one's called Overthrown. 
He should just be right out in front. Look, he's not there. He's not there. Oh, I hit the old bling pad. Get back down there. We want to go back. Lobo will spawn. I, I don't have to go all the way away, but he is kind of playing around right now. Why you got to play games, Lobo? Why you got to play games? All right, maybe I do have to fly all the way around. I thought he just popped up. There's There was one that kind of just showed up after we walked around, and I don't remember him showing up. But look at that. So, again, I got to fly around, and let's see. Is he going to pop up now that I go far enough away? And he's not there. There he is. That was the one. See, I was right. I wasn't selling wolf tickets. All right, here we go. We got old Lobo and Overthrown. He wants us to go take a picture of him sitting in Darkseid's throne. So we got to go inside to Darkseid's lair, which we've been in here a few times now. And oh no, as soon as we get in here, we get jumped by some parademons. So take all those baddies out and then watch the hops that Lobo has. He actually makes that jump on the left hand side there from the platform we're on to that little stairway that's all broken down which I thought was pretty cool because even my double jump can't make it up there however we can fly so we can make it just fine but look, look, look I'm not even close and he goes all the way up and around and I do believe we have one more session of poundage we got some more bad guys that show up yep and then he'll hop on and with the throne and then you just got to take that selfie and that should be all she wrote and then we can make our way on out of here and on to the next character quest. So here we go. He's up in the throne now. Simply look away from him. Press the L1 or left bumper button. And it should pop up that camera. Spin it around. Make sure you got him in the frame. I, it looks like I messed it up. We'll go ahead and take another one, though. And da, 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 that should do it. Oh, maybe you had to take two. Oh, three, I guess. Never mind. I need to pay more attention, huh? All right, so third one's the charm, and we'll go ahead and upload that to the gram. No, I'm just kidding. We won't. Although, that would be fun. I should have uploaded all of these selfies to the Instagram account. That would have been fun. All right, next up, we're going to skip over that race and come back in a minute. Stompa, stompa, huh? All right, so Folio Blue Stud Trail all the way down around. I took a little shortcut there, as you can see it. I thought I was going to save myself some time. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I told you that story on the last free room about that mail delivery lady who tried to save herself the 30 seconds of going up my driveway and ended up getting stuck in my driveway. Yeah, that was fun. Um, anyway, so this one, we have to roll around. I do believe we have some uh, information we have to find for him. Let's see here. Looking on my compass. Yep, we've got uh, five different guys that will provide info for us. And they're all kind of hiding, as per usual, but they're all on the compass, so... Shouldn't be too hard to find, but like this guy, I'm like, come on, where is, oh, there he is, he's inside that, we had to light up the room with illumination for a gold brick earlier, and he happens to be inside it right now, he's right there on that platform, Brian, get in there, I couldn't see him, I, and Reese was sitting here going, he's right there, dad, I'm like, where, he's to your left, he was totally telling me the whole time, so, you know, I can tell that, uh, you know, it probably won't be long before Reese starts taking over on some of these gameplay videos because he is a little bit more aware. My old age is catching up with me, I think. But, uh, all right, so we finally find the platform. We get in there, hit the icon indicated, and he tells us he is good to go. So I, I don't think we need to recruit these guys. We just need to get whatever pieces of information they have and bounce back to him. Uh, yeah, next one is we got two of them right kind of by each other. This one's just ha hanging out on a walkway. You can see, too, there's our, one of our final boss battles over there. We're going to stay away from that right now so we can do that last. And we actually accomplished that, which was nice. Sometimes that stuff doesn't work out for us. And one of them, we actually got a little too close to him, and it spawned the boss battle, which we weren't ready for. But uh, it all worked out. All right, that guy was hiding inside there. We had to come in there for a challenge. I don't remember what it was. We had to find some sort of item, though, and it was definitely inside there. I remember being on the right side. This guy's up hiding by some lava. It must be hot. A little bit on the steamy side. This guy's hiding over, uh, let's see here, down in. I thought he was going to be in this room right here, and he was. Look at that. Score. <laughs> kick, kick, kick. You're not beat Stompa. Kick, she's too strong. I, that's, I still don't like the way they talk to me. All them kits and bangs and booms. All right, this guy's all the way down at the bottom where we found him. And we'll go ahead and report the info we've got. Let's see here. What, what's the answers we got? Is it number two? Number three? No. Nope. Number four? We'll go ahead and choose number five. No. Nope. Number five was wrong. So most of these I've gotten right. I, I actually wasn't really paying attention. So first one will work just fine. And what's the next one? I believe it's the third one, if I remember right. It has been a little bit since I played this, though. It was a day or two. 
Uh, let's see here. What do we got? Uh, fourth one. All right. Uh, most of them just make sense if you read them. Uh, but again, as always, not to sound like a complainer, but my editing screen, uh, the, the preview window is actually rather small. Like, it, it's it's good size, but it's it's small enough that I need like the highest definition, and it doesn't do it for me. I don't know why. But hey, next up is Batty Issues. So uh, we'll go ahead and make our way over to character token number three. This one is... Oh, it's right by the beach, man. It's down uh, right by the lava. Oh, that guy's got a weird... What is that? Is that a... Oh, it's like a... It's like a floating Segway. That could be like the Segway of the future, perhaps. Might be fun. Uh, we'll go ahead and follow him. I do believe this is just an escort mission where we have to pound out the baddies that try to stop us on our journey. And I think probably the rule of three. Oh, yep, here we go. Some more parrot even. So we've got Superman out who is apparently invincible. I, I thought at one point he could have damage done to him. But looking up now, I've got silver hearts, which is usually an indication of invincibility. So that's kind of fun. And, you know, having Superman out helps, too, because a couple of these guys show up with body armor, and you need to melt them down. Now, I don't like how the melting and freeze breaths are the same button, and they... They kind of function based on what the game is looking for. So, like, if the game needs freeze, it gives you freeze. If it's looking for heat, again. I wish they were separate buttons. Now, I almost got myself involved in that boss battle right there. Did you see that? That would not have been good. He was right down below me there. And I don't know if you can trigger the boss battle while in another quest or not. I would hope not, but my guess is you probably can. Now, did you see I knocked that guy's block off and he's hiding over there? I'm going to have to go over there and deal with him before we can move on, unfortunately. But my heat ray is doing work. I'm taking all these guys down, including the ones with the old body armor. And that was a little bit of a funny angle. Got to drop down and get him. Cha, 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 cha. Knocked his block off. And all right, he is Dunsky too. Unfortunately, we got to go back and take out some more guys now because they just never stop spawning. And there's our buddy hiding on his floating Segway. All right, last but not least, you up. Oh, not, not done yet. All right, come on. Come on, man. Be done. We're done with you. We got, what, three guys left? Three, two, one. Gosh, get out of here, man. So this is turning into a long quest. Knock him off into the lava. That's probably your best bet is butt slamming him off the ledge into the lava. Might save you a few cha-cha-cha-chas. Uh, now he is out of here. We're going to go ahead and keep on keeping on and follow him to the next location where we will oh, most certainly have to fight off some more baddies. Oh, that was quite the jump. He's got hops. And let's see here. We are almost to, oh, yep, third and final battle. Hey, this is different, though. It's Furies. It's not uh, Parademons this time. We got, we even got Coppas trying to stop us. That's crazy. Let's go ahead and get your dance lessons taken care of for the week here. We go ahead and show all these peeps some sweet footwork and uh, a couple of, a couple of quick jabs as well. We are almost, you know what, we are almost done with free roam. Like, I, I can't explain how uh, how pleased I am. This was a rather lengthy free roam as far as how many areas we had to do, how many collectibles there were. Uh, we've definitely seen more in a few of them. I do believe Lego City Undercover probably had more per area and more areas. However, because I think it had, what, 13 or 14 different that was insane, but I love that game. That, that was so fun. I, I can't stress enough how much I hope that they are making a LEGO City 2, and that it won't be a Nintendo exclusive to start. Like I hope it's like all platforms all the time right from the get-go. But hey, that is officially it for Orion, so we're going to go ahead and add him to our list. On to character token number four. We only have two more. Actually, we got three, technically, because we got that boss battle. Furious Fisticuffs. That sounds a little suspect. Let's go ahead and check it. Check it out. Watch out for that giant bridge in the way, Brian. All right, we've got ourselves uh, nothing. Oh, here he is. All right, here she is. We'll go ahead and see. This is a little wonky, too. So, see what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what... I, I'd like to chop this up to user error, but how is that my fault that the old uh, circle wasn't spawning? Fury us fisticuffs. Yes, we'll accept the mission. We've got some more carnage ensuing here. We got some cha 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 cha. Looks like 20 guys we gotta take down. So this one's pretty quick and easy. Hey, uh, yeah, shout out to Tyler P. I don't think I've mentioned him in a video or three. I just wanna, you know, give some love to the guy who helped us find all these collectibles, made it easy, hopefully for us and you as well. And, uh, you know, we get a lot of hard work from that guy. And, you know, I try to make sure that I show my appreciation for him. But sometimes it falls by the wayside. So big shout out, digital high five to old Tyler P for hooking us up with all those collectibles. And uh, 
while we're giving shout outs, let's go ahead and give a couple of random shout outs as we collect our next character. Uh, shout out to Dougie Fresh for hooking us up with all those collectibles for many of our trophy achievement guides. Uh, shout out to uh, Simon for a couple of pieces of info that were actually quite helpful along the way. Uh, shout out to Christina for watching every single video and leaving us a comment, thanking us for our hard work and our time spent. Like, that is amazing. Um, and let's see here. Who else? Uh, that's all that's ringing a bell right now. Of course, every one of you guys that's out there watching, we definitely appreciate your guys' support. And I know that, like, I'm still on a mission. We're not done yet. This is simple. You just got to go to this guy and follow him. And guess what? We're going to get jumped again. Surprise, surprise. Although we kind of bring the heat to these guys this time. So we're going to go up, and, and you can see Mr. Mir oh, Mr. Miracle. Again, small text, big screen. Not high def. Uh, well, you know, and one of these days I should take a screenshot and just kind of show you what I'm up against. It's not the worst, and, and maybe it's my eyes. You know, even with my glasses on, as I put them on because I wasn't wearing them, uh, you know, I still have a little bit of difficulty seeing certain things like character names and such. All right, once we get to the top of the hill, we should need somebody with detective skills, somebody like Batman, and we should need his, uh, looks like a Batarang terminal's kind of hiding there. It's not doing a very good job of hiding, but uh, we'll go ahead and use it. Spin to win. It should open the door, maybe. Oh, well, okay, let's try that again. I'll go ahead and second time. Maybe I don't know if you have to do it twice or if it was just a weird situation for me, but inside we've got strong handles. Those aren't strong handles. We'll go ahead and kick open the old chest there, and look at that. We've got what Master, Mr. Miracle, whatever he was looking for, and we'll smash. Oh, there's second thing. So the third item is bound to be in here as well. Let's see, you're not there. Other chest of drawers. Oh, right. So what, what is that? Chicken? I'm not sure about that. That was one of those rubber chickens. Remember that video where there's like 25 of those in a shopping cart? Anybody ever see that? That was crazy. All right. Uh, guess what? Helping hand trophy achievement should officially be yours if you've been following along, as well as the Mr. Miracle character for collecting that mission and being done. So that's it. That's all of the character quests. That's what that trophy achievement was for, was completing all of the quests. However, we still have some character tokens that are locked, and that is because we have that brief case challenge, and we also have the final boss battle for this area, which is also going to give us another one. But we're going to save that boss battle for final picking as we've got some racing to do here and we're gonna need somebody that oh, it requires a flying vehicle you want to see this watch my flying vehicle I choose you guys are gonna laugh oh it's Superman Reese was like uh he's a man not a vehicle and I was like well apparently he's giving out rides so here we go we're gonna go ahead and fly from one ring to the next thing and as it turns out there are 22 total you have to get them all completed before the minute and 20 mark I, if I remember correctly, I think this is a photo finish. I do believe Reese was totally rooting against me, and I, I think that he was thinking I was going to have to do this one over again. No such luck for him. I actually hit the turbo boosters and then went flying by my next rank. So you go through buildings, you go around them, up and above them, below them. It's a pretty crazy race. You do a little bit of footwork there. Oh, hard left, hard left. There we go, up over the stadium on top of all the buildings. But uh, we got one more. Yeah, so this wasn't the photo finish. Oh, right between the Twin Towers. And we'll go ahead and collect Stefan Wolf's bike for doing just that. All right, next up, it's right in front of Dark Side's Palace. Springboard Palace Showdown. We'll go ahead and see what that's all about. Springboard sounds fun. Is that what it said? I feel like that's what it said. All right, uh, this one requires an acrobatic character. So let me give you a tip here. We know that Robin is one of the better acrobatic characters, way faster than Harley anyways. But I did this a couple of times and failed with Robin. And I, what I was doing was I was missing a jump and falling, and I was plummeting to my doom. So what I decided was I'm going to start the mission with Robin or any acrobatic character, and then I'm going to switch to a flying character. And I'm also doing a little bit of cheating here too. Notice that there is a couple of spots. Like right there, I fell right there once with Robin. I fell right there once with Robin. You're supposed to jump across and land on those little platforms. You can totally skip them, though, and go on the right. So I highly recommend doing that as well. Oh, and that wasn't good. See, I think that because I didn't have an acrobatic character, I wasn't able to land that or stick that landing. But because I have a flying character, look at me. I'm just kind of cruising through all of this stuff like it's no big deal. 
Now we're getting down to the last couple of rings, and it's no problem. See, look at that. We got, uh, who was that? Oh, somebody's Destroyer. I got it in the uh, quick links down below. I don't have it in front of me. And Springboard Palace Showdown is showing up as, it wasn't showing checked. Like, there's no check there, but now there is. That was weird. Pretty rad racer. Now, if I go back and look at the video, it might have been there, but I wasn't seeing it at first, so. All right, this actually required me to uh, do this three or four times. And and it did, you know, this is super rad. This kind of reminded me of Rad Racer. Is anybody else old enough to remember that game? I remember getting it for like my 12th birthday or something like that. And I remember playing it for days on end. And there was a couple of levels that had some oil slicks on it. I just couldn't get by to save my life. And I think I eventually beat them as I got older. But this one was not much different as there were a few turns that really threw me for a loop. And then there's that final spot at the end, which we'll get to. And I don't really know if I have good advice or anything, but you got to do a few laps here. You'll notice that you actually don't just go around at one big race track you go around there's there's our first lap we actually just completed but we're going a little different way this time we got to go a little higher left and look at that it shoots you right into the billboard so maybe the vehicle i'm using isn't the best vehicle but i find that this one steers a little bit more reasonable than some of the other ones it's still pretty squirrely as you can see i'm still finding the side walls and some stuff that i could probably avoid if i was a little better driver but i promise i don't drive this way in public now instead of going left this time we're gonna go right you can see i left a truck there i'd made a mistake in a previous race and it was still there this is where it gets squirrely two or three times i landed that sideways and i couldn't do anything about it and i died and then I spawned way back, and it just didn't work out. So, But look at that. <laughs> Fastest man alive trophy achievement, as promised, for completing all of the races. So we have no more races left. And all we got is this boss battle over here. So we're going to go ahead and hop over to the old stadium and Doomsday Disagreement. Now, I was unaware that there was a character named Doomsday, but this is the guy that popped out of that chest earlier and then plopped out that gold brick that I was a little scared of picking up. But uh, we'll go ahead and swoop down in here. And that's right. We ain't afraid of no doomsday. Oh, look at that. He's got, is that ammunition he's got across his chest? That's, I'm, I'm hoping he doesn't have any guns. But uh, this is pretty standard boss battle. He's got four hearts. He just needed to deplete them all. He's going to do the ground pound attack. As soon as he does, make sure that you avoid it and then strike with vengeance. And uh, I just repeat that a couple of times. And as you guys know, I don't really worry about getting hit or knocked off. Because I'm Superman, I'm pretty strong and take a lot of damage, if not all damage. As you can see, I still got them silver hearts up there. And I don't seem to be taking any, any problematic s shots to the head. But, um, yeah, we are almost done, dude. We've got, oh, we got to avoid his charging. As soon as he charges to, which it's funny because I'm flying and avoiding the charge, but it's also giving me the quick time event to hit the button and avoid the charge, which I'm doing. I'm hitting X in time, jumping over it, and then you can swoop in for the strike. All right. Uh, one heart left. He comes down for a ground pound, sneak in up close to personal, and that is all she wrote. Woo! We do have one more challenge that will kind of be like free roam, but that is pretty much it for all of those pesky collectibles. What we got to do now is we got to buy all the remaining characters, which we're going to do a live stream coming up. Be looking on our Facebook page for that. And look, here's proof. We got all of Earth and all of Apocalypse 100 percented. But yeah, check us out on social media. Make sure you're following that to see when that live stream is going to be. Keep in mind, too, though, if you're not available or you missed the live stream, it will be available on our YouTube channel to watch at any point. And I hope to do it probably. Monday. So, uh, oh, to the yeah, guys. It has been so fun. I am so stoked to be done with it, though. Uh, so, yeah, on to the next as we got the challenge and a couple of trophy achievement cleanups left. I'll see you soon. As always, until next time.